Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to Rock Gamer, your number one stop for all things Rock Band 4, Guitar Hero Live and Amplitude related. And with E3 going on right now, I wanted to summarize the day's news regarding Guitar Hero Live. We learned a lot about Guitar Hero TV, as well as a handful of new songs that were announced. So let's talk about Guitar Hero TV. Now the big question people want to know is, how much am I going to have to pay for the service? Well, it's actually going to be free out of the box. It looks like the strategy that Activision's taking with Guitar Hero Live is that they're going to basically do a free-to-play model, but then you're going to have to spend money in the form of microtransactions. Some of those microtransactions are using in-game currency you earn, and then some of them are using you know, your actual out-of-pocket out of money. So you can spend cash if you want on the game, or you can just choose to play for free. So let's talk about the different ways you can actually enjoy music in this game. The, the different ways you can enjoy music, uh, the first way is to basically, there's a bunch of different channels that are available on Guitar Hero TV. So some will be different music themed, some maybe like a top 20, maybe some maybe like heavy metal, some maybe classic rock. And you can basically look at what time, you know, your songs or channels are going to have certain kind of content. So you can schedule around, you know, based on what the guide's telling you. And it's usually put up about a week in advance. Uh, the other cool thing is that the guide will actually get a sense of what kind of music you enjoy playing based on the stats that it collects in the game. So if you really like metal, it's going to suggest you know different kinds of bands that maybe you haven't heard before from the metal genre or maybe some other kinds of songs in the metal genre. A couple different ways you can actually enjoy music. Uh, the first one is through the game's in-program guide. So there's a channel guide kind of like what you have on your cable provider. You can look at different channels that are you know music themed and you can see what time certain shows will be playing and you can schedule them accordingly. The cool thing about the guide is it actually learns your taste in music and it'll actually suggest songs for you. The other way you can actually play songs is basically by spending in-game currency. So you'll earn coins as you level up and do different challenges. You'll even learn level and you'll even earn coins from like pressing the start button of the menu or doing something, getting like one star in a song. Something really simple and basic. So you're always leveling up kind of like Call of Duty in that sense. The other way you can also uh, play songs is by actually purchasing songs, you know, using real money. So if you want to purchase a song and have endless plays on it, you can pay two bucks or whatever the price may be. Activision hasn't really announced the pricing yet for what the songs will cost, but they said it's pretty much on par with what we paid in the last generation of music games, so around $2 a track. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this model is that it's, everything is stored in the cloud, so you need to be online in order to play your DLC. So if you're taking your game over to a friend's house, or your internet connection is down, you can't enjoy your DLC. You're stuck playing with whatever is on disc for the game, which is a giant bummer to me. The other option you have is that you can actually choose to use Guitar Hero Live TV as a jukebox. So if you don't even want to play any of the music videos, you just want to have the music videos going on in the background, so you're having some people over, you can totally do that and the note highway will, the note highway will actually disappear, which is a really cool feature. The other interesting thing is that if you're having a bunch of friends over or if you just want to experience everything the, the on-demand service has, the on-demand service is basically another place where you can go and just choose to, choose to play any song at any time so you don't have to wait for the certain program to show up on your TV guide. You can basically uh, pay an upfront fee and then you can unlock all the songs on on demand for like 12 hours. So that's a, another really cool thing, but they haven't really announced pricing on how that's going to work. The other thing that they also talked about is the progression system. So as you play, you're always progressing and then you get skill points and then that can actually impact the way you play. So you can get new skill points and actually make it easier to score much better. Now the thing I'm kind of wondering with this is, when you're competing online against other people, is it going to give certain players you know, an unfair advantage? Because there's certain skills you can unlock, like for example, you can destroy the node highway, so, so say if there's a really difficult solo session coming, you can deploy like a bomb, destroy the entire node highway, and you'll get 100% for that solo. So a guy who's really good may have earned that skill, but uh, maybe a guy who's not so good hasn't earned that skill, so it's going to be so much more difficult for him to compete on, you know, on a level playing field. And you know, it's things like that that make me wonder, you know, how is the online play going to work? And two is that when it comes to actually uh, ranking up and progressing, uh, you can only use in-game currency. You can't actually just buy your way to the top, which is nice that they've done that because a guy who has a lot of money can just easily buy all the upgrades and have an unfair advantage on the competition. The other thing that was announced today regarding Guitar Hero Live was a new slew of songs that showed up in some of the new trailers. Uh, let's talk about some of the new songs. We've got Kings of Leon, Sex on Fire. That song was in Guitar Hero 5, I believe. It's also in Rock Band. Jet, Are You Gonna Be My Girl? That's already in Rock Band. MGMT, Time to Pretend. Passion Pit, uh, Take a Walk. Alter Bridge, Addicted to Pain. Calvin Harris, Feel So Close. That seems like a really strange music choice uh, for a rock game. Uh, Congos, Come With Me Now. ZZ Top, I Gotta Get Paid. Dumb Dumb Girls uh, is gonna be in there too. Bruno Mars, The Lazy Song. 
uh, White Zombie, The Abbott Brothers, Rage Against the Machine, uh, Bulls on Parade, Iggy Pop, Lust for Life. That was another song that was in an old Guitar Hero game. It's coming back to Guitar Hero Live. Courtney Barnett, Green Day, The Strokes, Bob Dylan, and Cheap Trick. If you guys want to see the entire song list, click the description box below, it's there. I want to know what are your guys' thoughts on Guitar Hero TV. I'm not really sold on the entire service. I don't like the fact that none of the music is stored on my hard drive. And that's really where I think Rock Band is doing it right, in the sense that I can just buy DLC, I can take it to a friend's house, and there it is. I don't need to have it stored on a cloud, and I don't need to be connected online to play my DLC. But I'd like to know what your guys' thoughts are. If you guys want to stay up to date on all things Rock Band 4, Guitar Hero Live, and Amplitude related, click the subscribe button. Take care.